Information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. I tell you what I'm talking about, annuities. Stay tuned to find out more. Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money. The Worry-Free Retirement. Your host, nationally recognized retirement specialist, five-time author, and fiduciary, Tony Walker. Welcome to the Worry-Free Retirement. I am that little man in the sweater vest, 401k rollover specialist, the annuity king himself, and retirement planning specialist, Tony Walker. And if you've just now joined us for the last three weeks on this program, we've been taking a very, very deep dive into the world of annuities. In fact, three weeks ago, we started with the basics. That was called Annuities 101. The week following that, we got a little deeper into annuities with Annuities 201. Last week, 301, and on today's show, we are going to be covering the Annuities Masterclass. And of course, with us in the studio, as always, is America's favorite financial sidekick, Mr. Aaron Orander, along with his favorite sidekick, uh, technically producing the show, Miss Megan Murphy. And the reason they don't have mics, they're not really with it today, they're running around the studio, is because in the studio, in our Louisville studios, we have with us fellow fiduciary all the way from Bowling Green, Kentucky, Miss Heather Hughes, thank you for coming up to be with us, Heather. You are welcome, Tony. We've already had a busy morning. We've already done a radio program. You got through yeah. that fine. Yeah. And now it's off to TV. This I'm is still, I'm still kicking. This, this has to beat though. Being able to come up, take our time. This obviously, this show's pre-recorded. We're recording this on October 22nd, 2019, just for time frame. Remember years ago, though. This was probably five, six years ago. I used to be on a very large well-heeled network here in Louisville, yep. live TV. And uh, I, I, I didn't realize I was making you so nervous, but on Thursdays, of course, we close on Fridays. On Thursday afternoon, I'd say, oh, by the way, Heather, we'll be Skyping you. That's uh, jargon, folks, for live TV from your computer. But we'll be Skyping you, so be ready Monday, Heather. And you're like, whoa, whoa, what are we talking about? So describe that whole feeling you had when I'd leave the office on a Thursday and you had the weekend to stew oh, on yeah. this. Totally ruined my weekend. <laughs> yeah, just anxiety filled. I mean, all I was thinking is counting down to the dreaded Monday to Skype for, you know, and go on live TV, not really knowing what I was talking about too. You yeah. give me a general topic. Well, and, I, and what we're going to talk about today, you know a lot about what we're talking about. Hopefully, and yeah. Now you, you know you do. <laughs> and uh, so before we get into today's topic, we rarely are folks, we're going to go into a really, really deep dive on annuities. I hope this has been helpful to you. And the theme has been, if you're going to buy an annuity or you've already got an annuity, thinking about buying an annuity, we're trying to convince you that Tony Walker Financial is where you need to be. We know these products very well, and you're going to learn more about Heather's role at Tony Walker Financial. But very briefly, tell us how you got started, the original ad you answered in the paper, and then how your position at Tony Walker has evolved over the last 13 years or so. Right. So I came on board 2006, um, did the antiquated idea of answering an ad in the paper. Now, you, you know, <laughs> nobody does that. Um, and I think, you know, the position was for financial research coordinator. So, you know, it's something I think you completely made up. So, <laughs> um, but my background was in accounting. I think that was one of the, you know, criteria that you were looking for. Came on board um, and just really not sure what that position was going to be. And I'm not even sure you really had a good idea either. Uh, but originally kind of just researching some tax issues and things like that. And then it kind of you started introducing me into the world of annuities and I started diving into that even more and doing a lot of research on how annuities work and what types of annuities there are and different carriers. And then later on, you know, we realized there was a need to develop income plans for clients. And so I originally did that by hand on big, that. long Excel, Excel spreadsheets and they were pages long. They were probably this long. And we've got some, some clients that still bring those in. They love, they love those. Them. Yeah, they like won't it. let me move to the new <laughs> software that we have now. So, um, but yeah, it's just, it's been a real journey for me. And um, as I learned more about the business and I got really a passion for planning and uh, 
got my 65 license, so I'm a fiduciary like you as well now, and just enjoy helping clients. And I'm in the Bowling Green office, but I help all of our clients either by phone or any kind of meeting that they need. Yeah, and I think our relationship in terms of how I have you positioned to not only help current clients, but prospective clients, uh, I think it bodes well for us. And again, we're not being critical of other firms, but this is, I've done this now 35 years. Rather than just hiring more and more advisors, which is what most people do, which is fine, but unfortunately get a lot of rookies out there running around. What I've found that my clients, they want to meet with me in person, uh, allow me to get in, kind of solve the problems very quickly. I understand this stuff very well. But the advantage they have in going to Tony Walker Financial is they have Heather Hughes in the office full time. Right. So if I'm not available or they want to go over their income plan uh, or they want to know, well, how did you all select those annuities? That's your role. So t talk about the joy of working at Tony Walker Financial and be able to help so many clients and how we've evolved over the years and grown. A little bit to that, if you would. Oh, yeah. Well, one, I think we work really well together. You know, I think we complement each other quite a bit. You love doing this, not my thing, <laughs> uh, but I love speaking with clients. So, uh, but yeah, I think I've really got a lot of satisfaction in the past, just being able to help clients and lessen their worries, explain what's going on with their money, explain how, you know, this is going to work for them. So it's, it's been great, you know. Well, back to that explaining, and we'll get into the meat of this, folks. You want to stay tuned. We're going to do some, provide some great information. i got to tell you this quick story. I think you've heard this. Had a gentleman come in that was looking to work with us. He decided to move money over. I attend church with this gentleman. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll call him I Fred. I talking okay. about. Okay. So Fred, and he says, well, Tony, i got to go follow up on this. I still have some questions. I said, Fred, I'm not going to be in the office this week. You've seen Heather in the office. Talk to her. And he goes, oh, okay. And I think he was a little taken back, like, Heather, Okay. Well, then I see him at church the next week, and he said, hey, Tony, come here. And he said, you know that Heather I met? And I said, yeah. And he goes, she explains things better than you. <laughs> I thought that was funny. So, yeah, folks, so we have in, uh, today in the studio, we're going to come back in our next segment. We've got two segments with Heather. The first thing we're going to do is talk about the changes going on in this industry and the annuities and how Heather researches those. Then we're going to get into the taxation of annuities what annuitization is, some good sure. stuff coming up. You're listening and watching the master's class on annuities. I'm Tony Walker. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. With 401k plans at all-time highs, why continue to risk your hard-earned money? There's a safer way to retire worry-free. Attend nationally recognized retirement specialist Tony Walker's next free workshop, Retirement 101, December 9th in Louisville, December 10th in E-Town, and December 12th in Bowling Green. These workshops are free, but seating is limited. So register today at TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Welcome back to the Worry-Free Retirement, and we are here in the studios with Ms. Heather Hughes, fellow fiduciary out of Bowling Green. Again, thanks for coming to Louisville to be You're with so us. You're so welcome. So in our time for this segment, um, you know, bond yields are going down. They really are. Insurance companies are changing. And, it, and I do, I hearken back when I first got in this business in 1984, my father-in-law, thankfully, offered me a position in his firm which was an independent insurance agency. And I didn't understand how crucial that was, but he always told me, Tony, which I did go out on my own in 89, but always try to remain independent because these insurance companies will change. What, what have you found over the last 13 years? Is that true? Oh, absolutely. You know, it's, uh, we have the ability because we are independent to look at a myriad of different insurance companies and products. We're not tied uh, like some captive agents where they are only can sell products by their employer. So, you know, part of my job at Walker Financial is to investigate and research all of the offerings that are out there and to pick the best products for our clients. And, and again, we, we can't speak for other firms out there, but my concern is, and I go to conferences a lot, you know this, and I see some of these producers and some of them, these agents, advisors are great agents, great guys, but it's like you start talking to them in detail and they don't research anything. They get hung up on one product maybe, and we've done that over time. If it's competitive, mm -hmm. I'm going to go with it. But we see these changes and I'll start talking to them. Well, what are you looking at? Well, what do you mean, what am I looking at? We're doing this. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of scary. So what I thought we would do in this particular segment is go through what we call our annuity 
decision grid that you go through. So let's kind of walk through this, Heather, Absolutely. if we would. Yeah. And uh, we'll blow this up full screen, but kind of look at the detail of this and kind of describe what you go through when you're doing research. Well, absolutely. So, you know, as I've often said, one size doesn't fit all for annuities. And so we really need to look at the client, what their needs are, and then that helps us zone in and hone in on what's the best product for the client. Uh, they may need an accumulation product. They may need an income product. They may be just looking for some guaranteed uh, fixed products. So I keep track of this. It's kind of messy, but it, it makes sense to me. I'm looking at fees, bonuses. Yeah, let's get, you know, kind of just read across the top. Sure, there, and I've, I've neutralized this so we aren't Well, just the headers doing at anything. the top. Just right. read those off. Yeah, I've got carrier, product. And the, carrier, by the way, we like A minus or better with best, correct? correct? Yeah. yeah, we aren't going to look at anything lower than an A minus rated yeah, company. Yeah, okay. Um, that's just our choice, you know, other agents, you know, may feel more comfortable doing lower products, lower rated companies, but, you know, as fiduciaries, we want to pick safe, mm -hmm. you know, solid companies for our clients. Uh, type of product, the type of annuity, you know, whether it's an indexed annuity, a fixed annuity, things like that, um, whether it has a bonus or not. Sometimes that always, always sounds appealing, but sometimes it's not best to have a bonus. But in some certain certain mm -hmm. certain circumstances, it's a good thing. Uh, income writers, they're all over the place, and you can't just use the rate to say, "Oh yeah, that's the best income." Well, haven't, when we see that sometimes, don't we? We we'll say, "Well, people say they go, Tony, it's making ten percent." Well, that that's just part of the story. That doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily mean because it has a high roll-up rate that it's necessarily going to have a high right. payout rate, right? Exactly. Yeah. Payout rates are really key, especially right now in this environment. So, you know, they can inflate to those roll-up rates as much as they want to, but if the payout rates are low, it's not going to give you the income that you desire. Uh, we and haven't you seen, and interrupt you, I'm sorry, but sure. haven't you seen, that's what we generally look out first. We have learned over the years to go to that payout rate right. first, then go to the roll-up rate. And I know it's this may, key. and this may sound odd what we're talking about, folks. But this is why we're saying this is an advanced class. You're running out and putting your hard-earned money somewhere. Some of these people out here are not going to this detail. And if they're not going to show you a grid or how they came up with that, that's another concern too. So we will be happy to show this to people. They really want to see it. Right. Yeah. Uh, there's fees on some products that are associated. Sometimes those fees are warranted. So you know we want to look at that, see the cost-benefit analysis on that. Um, Penalty-free withdrawals. We want to see, you know, is the money accessible mm -hmm. in, in anybody's given circumstance. So, like I said, not one size fits all. We want to look at how we're planning on using this surrender, annuity. Surrender penalties. I didn't mean to interrupt you in the yeah. instance of time. You know, a lot of people think, well, you, they're tied up for a long time. And I noticed this one on this product. We don't name the product on the air. But it's a five-year surrender mm -hmm. charge. So they could get out after five years. The whole thing, they could take whole it out, thing. right? Right. Yeah, I heard that again yesterday. Somebody said, well, I was reading an article. Annuities aren't accessible. And I said, well, what do you mean by accessible? So we will tailor the annuities. If somebody wants more access sooner, we can do that, can't we? Exactly. And that's the key. That's the real reason for planning. Mm -hmm. You can't just buy an annuity thinking, oh, this is the best annuity on the market. Does it work with your situation? Now let's fast forward, speak to that person that's been a client of ours a while. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people begin to learn, okay, I'm going to follow up with Heather if Tony's not available. I want to figure out the income ramifications, or maybe they're ready to take income. Share what happens with people when we, we call it turning on income, but turning on the mailbox money. I want to say surprise, but you shared this earlier before we went on. What's the reaction of people when they go, wait a minute, this stuff really does work. Right. You know, so we furnish income plans to clients and, um, you know, typically they're not going to turn on income immediately. Some cases they are, but for the most part, they defer them for a while. When they're ready to say retire or they're ready to supplement income, they'll call me and say, I'm ready to start my mailbox money. And I'm like, okay. And i am run a quick calculator and I said, you're going to get X amount. And they're like, wait. And I'm like, is there a problem? And they're like, but that's what was on the income plan. And I said, yeah, that's, that's how it works. So, you know, they're really pleasantly surprised that, you know, we can offer and we can follow through with what they, you know, and we, kinda, had, we and, had projected for them. And the thing we've been really honing in on these last several episodes is the guarantees that annuities provide. And I think that's just it. What folks, what we're trying to do with the Word for Retirement is take the guesswork out of that future income. And of course, these annuities, it's very exciting to, like you said, show that to them. They start their mailbox money and it's like, 
That's exactly what you said it was going to be. That's exactly right. All right, we're running out of time. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, folks, I'm going to actually, we're going to go to the whiteboard. I'm going to let you draw on my whiteboard. This is a rare privilege only a few people get. So when we return, we're going to go to the whiteboard, and we're going to talk about the taxation of annuities. Good stuff coming up. You're watching The Worry-Free Retirement. Worried about running out of money in retirement? For a limited time, five-time author and retirement specialist Tony Walker is making available his latest book, Mailbox Money for Life. For your free copy, simply log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Have you recently retired, been laid off, or offered a buyout? Has a company you work for recently moved or been acquired or closed its doors forever? Then take advantage of this opportunity to move your 401k to safer territory. Why continue to risk your hard-earned money when you don't have to? Let's meet in person today to discuss your retirement options. Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com to schedule your no-obligation appointment to meet with me in person. Do it today. Welcome back to the Worry-Free Retirement, and we're with fellow fiduciary Heather Hughes. And Heather, in the essence of time, we got to get after it. Okay. Now we're going to use the example that somebody has invested in what's called a non-qualified annuity, tax-deferred annuity, They've put in 100000 Over the years, it's grown to 200000 I know the insurance companies love to talk about tax deferred, but the different issues that can come up, and again, why having a retirement planning specialist firm like us can potentially save people a boatload of money, not only with the proper annuity, but the taxation of those annuities. So walk us through this example. Be glad to. So in this example, we've got a couple, both age 65, they're retired, drawing Social Security 40000 they're taking 30000 out of their IRA just to meet living expenses. Um, so with that, of the 40000 11000 of their Social Security is considered taxable. Not all of it, but just 11000 With the standard deduction, their taxable income is about 16700 Puts them in about the 10% tax bracket. So their total tax liability is about 1670 Pretty low. Pretty low. Yeah, okay. We like that. <laughs> but they're ready to cash in that annuity. Okay. okay. And he got a $100,000 gain, right? Right. Okay. $100,000 gain. So let's now, see what happens. Now, unlike capital gains, a $100,000 gain in an annuity is taxed at regular income tax rates. Okay. Okay. So same parameters. They're still got the 40,000 in social security, still taking the 30,000 out of their IRA. But because the gain is $100,000, that's going on their tax tax return as taxable income. Mm -hmm. So what that does, it actually pushes their social security a more taxable. So 34,000 of that 40 is considered taxable All right, income. That's not good. Now, so we've got a pretty big difference right here. Still the same 30,000 coming from the IRA. Here's our taxable gain on the annuity, $100,000. Still the same standard deduction, that doesn't change. But what happens, is their taxable income goes from sixteen thousand to one hundred and thirty nine six hundred. Ouch! So it's more than the hundred thousand because oh, yeah. of the the difference in social security. That puts them into a twenty two percent tax bracket. Sounds like we're having fun. Oh yeah, government's happy now. <laughs> and then so their taxable liability is twenty two thousand four hundred and twenty nine dollars. So there you go, folks, and we're getting ready to show you. Right there, a lot of people don't understand how to deal with these taxes. Not only a lot of advisors don't, but this is where we come in. Now, again, this is not an IRA. We're talking about a non-qualified account. So maybe you had an inheritance, you've just saved money over time, and you're trying to take advantage of some certain little, I'll call them little uh, nice tweaks in the law. Exactly. And that's called an exclusion ratio. So let's look at an option a lot of people don't understand. So go over this option now, Heather. Sure. So what we're going to do is implement that exclusion ratio. So instead of taking that full $200,000 out at once, we're going to what's called annuitize the contract. Mailbox money. Mailbox money. There you go. So instead of receiving the $100,000, they're going to receive $21,600 a year. That's still not bad. Mm -hmm. um, by doing that, we're excluding, that's the reason for the exclusion ratio, 46.3% of that is not considered taxable income. So the taxable gain for this is only going to be $11,600. Hmm. Big difference. Yeah. 
that also affects your Social Security. So you always have to look at all these moving parts. So Social Security, oh, now 20000 out of it. So not as much tax. Not as much. Yeah. It's still going to push it up, but it's not nearly where it was. And so that gives you a taxable gain, or I'm sorry, taxable income of 38160 That's looking much better. It is looking so much folks, better. So folks, you understand we're trying to keep the taxes below these brackets that are creeping up. So that's why we're trying to work on this. This is part of the services of Tony Walker Financial. Go ahead. Sure. So now we're looking a little more respectable 12% tax bracket, total tax liability, 4191 Wow. So Pretty this impressive. could really impact somebody's financial standpoint to be hit with this this kind of taxes just as a lump sum and this gives them steady income too and haven't you found i think especially with our saver clients heather i think they like the mailbox money concept I often hear this well what if i want all that money out of the annuity and i just want to get out of it it's all tied up well first of all it's not tied up no but even if you did take it all out what i tell people whether it's an ira or like this who wants to take out large sums and pay all these taxes? You want that money to flow out over time, not only just to meet your normal expenses, but taxes. So speak to that mm -hmm. a minute. So if somebody's out there right now and just says, you know, I've got a 401k IRA, I've got money in the banks, I've got an old annuity, uh, what services can we offer there and what would be our next step in our process? So yes, Tony, I would encourage anybody if they've got any kind of questions like that, just to call or go to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, schedule an appointment. We'd be happy to meet with them and kind of go over their situation. Well, thanks again, Heather. You've done a You're great welcome. job. We appreciate all your work uh, for our clients and prospective clients. Thank so you. folks, I'm going to come back in just a second. We want to know what the Bible has to say about questions and answers. And does it have some answers for you when times get tough? It sure does. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Have you recently retired, been laid off, or offered a buyout? Has a company you work for recently moved or been acquired or closed its doors forever? Then take advantage of this opportunity to move your 401k to safer territory. Why continue to risk your hard-earned money when you don't have to? Let's meet in person today to discuss your retirement options. Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com to schedule your no-obligation appointment to meet with me in person. Do it today. With 401k plans at all-time highs, why continue to risk your hard-earned money? There's a safer way to retire worry-free. Attend nationally recognized retirement specialist Tony Walker's next free workshop, Retirement 101, December 9th in Louisville, December 10th in E-Town, and December 12th in Bowling Green. These workshops are free, but seating is limited. So register today at TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. The late great childhood actor Gary Coleman became famous for those words. And while he framed what you're talking about as a question, it was really not a question at all, but a statement of fact that the person he was talking to didn't know what he or she was talking about. Another example of this might be when you say, you've got to be kidding me. You're not asking a question as much as you are saying in a nice way, you don't know what you're talking about. Now, with all of the confusion about annuities and all the misinformation about them, I have the same reaction when financial know-it-alls start telling people how bad annuities are or how you can't get your money out or your money's tied up. I just want to repeat what Gary Coleman said. What you talking about, Willis? Now, Jesus dealt with this same issue. People who didn't know what they were talking about and forgot that Jesus did. In Mark chapter 9, there's an interesting encounter between a despondent man who is desperate for help and approaches Jesus in hopes that Jesus can expel an evil spirit that has taken over his son. Mark 9, 22, the man says the following, if you can do anything, now let's stop right there. Are you or someone you know of, someone you love going through something that is beyond your ability to cope? Maybe it's a recent death, a recent diagnosis, uh, worrying over money, loss of a job, whatever. Is there something that you want that you know you can't have and you want to turn to God as your last hope, but you just don't know or think God can help. So instead of boldly going to God for help, you question His ability to help you. Look at what Jesus says to this man in verse 23. He says, if you can. Now, he didn't put a question mark there. It was an exclamation point, just like Gary Coleman. 
My Bible, Bible has that exclamation point because it's not a question of Jesus, can he? It's Jesus saying, you got to be kidding me. I am the person that created the world. I can certainly help you with your problems. Now, the boy's father says this, if I believe, help me with my unbelief. So you see, I think most people really do believe in God. Problem is, when bad times come, the world attacks their unbelief. We're fragile. Our faith in God is fragile. And when bad times come, the time for the world becomes to create this weapon called discouragement. Now, it's interesting. One of my own clients sent me a wonderful card. I just got this out of the blue. It was a card, and at the very end, I thought it was interesting what she said. She says, I quote, So I should put you, that's me talking about Tony, on my prayer list, don't get discouraged. Now, why would she have mentioned discouragement? Because she knows the adversary, the only weapon they have is to discourage us. So, of course, the way we attack the wedge of discouragement is through prayer. The world's job is to attack our faith and to discourage us, to let us focus on our circumstances. So we follow through on Mark 9 to verse 29. Jesus has taken the spirit and taken it out of the young man. And look what he says here. This kind cannot come out. In other words, the sickness cannot come out. The spirit cannot be overcome, but by anything through prayer. I think what Jesus is saying is the adversary, no good deeds, no amount of money, no amount of worry can overcome the adversary, but prayer. Prayer that God would help your unbelief. And even Paul talks about this. Paul in Philippians 4, 6 says, do not be anxious for anything, but what? Through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. That's prayer. And why do we do that? Here is the armor we have. We have the peace of God which surpasses all comprehension, all understanding, so that it will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. A peace that will overcome any discouragement you might be thinking of. Well, you might be sitting there saying, Tony, hey, can we get back on annuities? That's all well and good, but I need you to help me in my unbelief of annuities. What you've taught me over the last four weeks is incredible. I need to believe that these tools possibly are a part of my retirement. Can you help me with that? Well, I know I can help you with that. That's the easy part. To just sit down and go over your situations to see how annuities might be of help to you, all you got to do is log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Now, once there, you're going to click on that Let's Get Started button. Confidentially, your information goes to our offices, and we will arrange either a phone call with myself or we can meet in person to either our Bowling Green, Louisville, or Lexington, Kentucky offices to find out if an annuity is right for you and which type might be best for your situation. So do it now. Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this series on annuities. Next week, when I return, we're going to be talking about something most advisors never think about. It's not just about getting the money and rolling it over and handling your money, but what happens for the next 5, 10, 15 years with that advisor? Are they going to be there to monitor your progress? We'll take a deep dive into that next week, but you remember between now and then, if all else fails, you be worry-free. Make it a good one.